Everybody goes to the live. We are now. We just went back live. Oh, nice. Hey. Hey, Doug. We have no video, but I guess we're live on. You do, you do have video. I just need to get the projector up. Ah. <laughs> So what do you think so far? Keep watching. We're, this is uh, going to be a separate video, so welcome. It's Haven for Heroes. The comic shop is open. We're going through stuff. Went through that already. We're going to be on like this box and that box. I'll go through a handful. Doug will go through a handful. I'm going to be in and out. Yep. It's a busy day. Detective, Martian Manhunter, X-Men, New X-Men, Ultimate X-Men, Ultimates, X-Men. Solar, yeah. I'm a big fan of the acclaimed Valiants from the 90s. So, like, whenever yeah. I find stuff like that. I, I dug the Valiants back then, too. They just lost all their value. <laughs> a lot of really but, cool. Like, again, if, you, if, you are, if you're young and you're just starting to read comics, reach back and read some of these good books. Right, I'm going to go, go get that. Alright. X-Men Marvel Knights Punisher. Killer. We got Hunter. Uh, this is Joe Casey book, Code Flesh. Then on the back side, Dumble Image, The Bod. Another Code Flesh book. This plastic is tough on your... Oh, people are back. Looks cool. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, Doug, I'll let Doug know you said happy birthday. Thanks. Midnighter. This is the Garth Ennis Midnighter run, which... I prefer to the Steve Orlando one, but that's me. I'm a big Garth Ennis fan, but this is a good, good set to pick up. Again, the Heroic Age, Captain America of the Reborn. Oh, I wonder if we've got any of the Liefelds in here. That would be terrible. <laughs> but these are the Brubaker Captain Americas. Yeah, that's a pretty good run of them. Oh, Thunderbolt Jackson. Some on wild storm stuff. All right, let's dig into box. We're up to box five already. Box five. We're gonna try not to take up too much of your time. Maybe an hour. Maybe a little more. Maybe a little less. Superman. Can't get them situated. There we go. Some action comics. Looks like they're double bagged. We got one on the front and the back. Rising Stars. These are sh shifted back and forth. Little President Luther, Secret Origins. Some more Rising Stars. The special preview universe. Another great series. Uh, Michael J. Straczynski. Really good writing. Really good writing. I'm back. Huh? Cool Alice Cooper book in this. Uh, oh, yeah? The Neil Gaiman Alice Cooper book. Oh, wow. That's got a little bit of value. It's a little, it's a little spicy. And some X Factor, Factor X, when they decided that Establishment. X Factor didn't feel good. Uh, so a lot of Wildstorm we're finding in here, right? The crew. Number seven. Oh, that's actually seven. Uh, Josiah X, I believe. That yeah. becomes Justice. <laughs> Some more Superman. Oh uh, yeah, Secret Secret Avengers. When they decided that you can't trust anybody, including the people you already trusted, because they were proved <laughs> to be fine. Uh, Avengers Academy. That might be a first appearance of somebody. What a Wildcats. I love that Wildcats front. This is a cool, cool yeah. cover. Yeah, cut, cut the cover out, make some cool... Uh, make your uh, paper dolls, Yeah. paper doll action. Some more uh, that Return of the King. I don't know who this character is. Hey, Roland, if you're still on, what do you think? Who, who is that? Who's the, who's the female there? Got the bullseye in the center of the head. Oh, by the way, Roland said happy birthday. Oh, thanks. Uh, is that not Lady Bullseye? There is a Lady Bullseye? There's a Lady Everything. It's Marvel. <laughs> instead, of giving, instead of giving women fulfilling characters of their own, they just take a character that already exists, add the word Lady in front of it, and boom, instant character. Yeah. Except in the case of She-Hole. Yeah, she ex yeah, exactly. <laughs> she in front of it instead, yeah. The, uh, 
this is a really great cover, man. I, I'm really digging. We saw a few of those from one an earlier box, The Return of the King. Those covers have been fire. I, they don't have any signatures on them. I'm going to have to figure out who. Almost the whole run of LDL. <laughs> you nailed it. It's Lady Bullseye. <laughs> Excelsior! <laughs> Some Secret Avengers. Ooh, what do you got there? Got anything um, good? Besides the Wildcats, not much. I have some El Diablo from uh, the 08 run. The 08 run? And I think that's actually the El Diablo that they based uh, the guy from Suicide Squad off of. Like, that's the version. If you're a fan of the Eclipse uh, imprint from Marvel, there's an Eclipse book. They had some great art, and they were doing stuff that you, they couldn't do in Marvel. So I'll have to check that out. Fusion, I'm not familiar with that one. As a heads up, I will be uh, making fun of Rob Reifeld every time I come across one of his books. <laughs> I already beat you, dude. <laughs> Some more Transformers. A lot of Transformers in this. Star Trek. Do we have any Trekkies out there? Oh, Robotech. Ooh. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. Uh, that is... New X-Men number 114? Yeah, the New X-Men 114. I think that's actually the start of the Grant Morrison run. Yeah, there's somebody in it, though. That's the first appearance of somebody. I'll look it up. New X-Men 114. New X-Men 114. We're going to jump on the Key Collector apps because he's here. And, uh, ooh, StarCraft. That... The, the video game books are starting to pop a little bit. First appearance of Cassandra Nova, a parasite from the astral plane, replicated the DNA of Charles Xavier while still in utero. What? <laughs> I'm sorry. What? Astro Series, another great book. This is Kurt Busiek. Uh, the art is phenomenal. The covers, I believe they're all Alex Ross covers. This is uh, early. Yeah, it's Ross. Uh, not super early Alex Ross, but early-er. Alex Ross. Uh, that's a great run. Astro Series is phenomenal. Another Ninja High School. Another one. Man, this one's kind of bit. You'll find that in my 50 cent box. By the way, I apologize if you see me taking my mask off. My phone's unlocking by my face only right now. So uh, Some more Alex Ross goodness. The JSA covers. Let's see if I can get it. Uh, there we go. There we go. The Spectre. I love his Spectre, man. It's just phenomenal. A little Jay Garrick action. All right, back to the Outsiders. More Outsiders. Not Insiders, but Outsiders. Majestic. <clears throat> Wild Storm, Majestic. This is... This I'd like to see uh, Majestic versus Superman is what I'd like to see. Uh, since he's in the DC Universe, they've already brought Grifter over. Hey, yeah, let's see Majestic going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Ultimate Spider-Man number 12. That's number one. Yeah, but look at the cover because the cover on this says 12. Oh, yeah, it does. That's weird. That's just a, has to be a mistake. Or the writing is a mistake. What's it say? Uh, this is a first appearance. Oh no, this is not the, the right one. This is a promotional giveaway obtained by submitting specially marked Chef Boyardee labels. <laughs> what is it with Marvel and these weird schemes? They're like they're like Scooby Doo villains. They just like come up with the oh, weirdest way to up. do things. Look who popped up! Yeah, we got uh, Blue Beetle, Blue Be Ted Cord, and he's uh, still like, got his head. Yeah, but he's back in you know. In DC, making uh, making noise. Omega Men, Omega Men, one, two. Got some Shadow Pact action. I like that series. I enjoy the magic part of DC. It's a nice piece of the run there for Shadow Pact. I love Shadow Pact. Right. Toss that box on the floor. My knowledge of 2005 DC is stronger than probably my knowledge of all other comics. It's pretty sad. All right, let's get rid of this. Come on, let me find a 115. A new X-Men 115. Pop quiz, whose so first got, appearance is that? Uh, 115 Fam Famax? Fam mm, no, no. No? 
I don't, I don't know. Negasonic Teenage Warhead. Oh, Warhead. that's right, Negasonic. The coolest named X-Men of all time. <laughs> Got a little Justice League in, enslaved. And then Justice League Adventure on the back. This is out of the cartoon series. Little Justice League Elite. I don't even remember that. I don't know how long that lasted, but I don't remember Justice League Elite. Uh, remember when they brought the Sentry back from from everybody forgetting who he was? Yes. And then they had to put a joint comic of Sentry and everyone. There's one that's like Sentry and the Punisher. Like, why? It's like <laughs> This is uh, Hero. I guess this is Dial H for Hero series that was done at some point. Uh, I, don't think it, I don't have to give that a read. A lot of times there's new characters in it that DC then doesn't use for a very long time, and then out of nowhere, something happens. Hey, uh, Marvel, since you're a big fan of killing characters constantly, especially people in the Captain America universe, can we kill Hatemonger? Like, <laughs> he does not need to be around anymore. We're done with him. Here's a more, uh, another DC focus book, Hard Time. And then a, when they brought back the Brave and Bold. Some Captain Marvel run. We're really, get, we're really getting through this. Citizen V and the V Battalion. I've already been through there. Here's a, this was another stack in a box that broke. I'm going to dig down. Oh, man. The Marvel Knights with the Alex Ross. I think that's an Alex Ross cut there. That looks... That's got to be. That could definitely be an Alex Ross cover. Oh. Very, very well done. Mocking. This is the kind of stuff I love. This is in the 80s. This is the stuff I was reading. Warp. There you go. No, no. There you go. Look yeah. at because you, yeah. you were showing just a, it was glared, so it was just a white page. White this is the page. comic I like, the one with no words or no pictures words or in pictures. it. <laughs> well, I, I actually haven't read this, but like this is the style. Like uh, Warp Graphics Comics, Unicorn Isle. You know, if I saw that, I would have bought that in a second. Oh, Apple okay. Comics, like black and white, really good line art. That's number four. That's number two. Now I'm curious. Yeah. Yeah, I'm all about that. This is dope. Has no has no value. This is like, don't be like, oh, I gotta go out and buy that unicorn aisle now. No, no. Oh wow, this shows you how to draw. Two eighty seven. This is a cool book from uh, Antarctic Press before they started making a lot of really, you know, more adult stuff. This is like a anime reference guide for Gundam. So like it's. Got a bunch of illustrations oh, in here wow. on how to draw the Gundams and how to draw the different characters and the guns and the ca the cats and the. That is a very cool stuff. book. Pretty dope. Non-humans. Homecoming on Aspen, huh? That's some good cover art. Warriors of Plaza. I do not. Oh, here it is down at the bottom. I'm not familiar with that artist. Bloodshot. Did a on good the cover of Secret Weapons. If you haven't seen the Vin Diesel Bloodshot movie, don't bother. <laughs> If you like action movies, it was okay. If you like action movies, as soon as you get past the tunnel scene, watch something else. Okay, yeah. Y yeah, just watch the tunnel scene. They spent all of the budget. Starship on that Troopers, scene. that's like, I really like this. Sadly, this is like really beat up. Uh, this comic book company made really sweet comics. Uh, Marco, how did you say it? Marcosia. Marcosia. Uh, I found a Liefeld book, everybody. Do you see how, how they look great... like everybody he's ever drawn? Yeah, this looks like Battlestar his... Galactica. Yeah, this it's Cable with Wolverine's hair. Uh, it's Cable with a cigar. Look at how much better art. This company didn't make it. Look how much better this art was than that. Honey Badger versus the world. This is an astronaut, Leonidas, a ninja, a lion versus a honey badger. All right. Magnus. Proof that they will make a comic about anything. Dynamite. Little IDW Star Trek action. G.I. Joe. Yeah. I, we didn't pull a lot of it, but um, as I was pulling stuff out, I saw there was a bunch of G.I. Joes in the boxes. An Uncanny X-Men, 286. Can't complain when you're buying junk boxes and you get X-Men. Uncanny X-Men. We got some gold digger, too, in case... Yeah, well, they say, you know they don't sell well in the shop, but they will sell online. Yeah, I really... some more GI Joe and a this is another Snake Eyes cover. 
This is world class comics. That's pretty cool. A little pinhead action. Well, that'll sell for sure. People all about the horror books. Some Ghost Rider. That's actually Marvel Presents. I was not. Ghost, that is Ghost Rider as a character, but it's Marvel Presents as the comic. Wildcats, but the original. Justice. Vanguard. So, some early image stuff popping up. Man. Early early ish Valiant. Some more of the. Uh, Tenchi Muyo. <laughs> Antarctic Press manga style comics? Manga. Manga, manga. This is coming from the man who owns a hobby shop and still pronounces it Pokemon. Pokemon! Mike Grell Shaman Tears. This is actually, I read this. I'm a big Mike Grell fan. If you've been watching, you know. Uh, this is a good series on Image. Had an American Indian character. And as you can see, he brought in his John Sable character, who I love. Love! Man Crush. Three Lancer. A little more Ninja High School on Eternity. Ooh, the Eternity Ninja High Schools are worth some money. That might be some that might be some spicy, spicy stuff. We got number five and number six. Ninja High School on Eternity. Oh, another fusion. So I got two of those to read. Jennifer Blood on Dynamite. Transformers. Yo. More Transformers. They, they're more than meets the eye, you know. All right. DMZ. DMZ is a good book. One of, the, one of my favorite series of all time. DMZ by Brian Wood. Yeah. And, uh, I think the art was done by uh, was it Ricardo Bercelli. Altered Image. Altered Image, yeah. All right, we're down to the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Box number eight. Looks like some more DC. Transmo um, Transmetropolitan. Yeah, that was a great, great series. series. Some Secret Spider Origins Song. action. A little Robin. Green Lantern. Batgirl. The Dreaming. Powers. Wildcats. This is when it started getting really good. A lot of uh, mid 2000s like Dark Horse and stuff over here. Exo Manowar is nice. Big fan, like I said, big fan of Valiant. Uh, I was a big fan of the Acclaim Valiant. Now that Valiant's kind of like had a resurgence, I'm a fan of their work now. Uh, if they could go ahead and drop the new Shadow Man book, that'd be great, because that is my favorite comic series of all time. Oh, it's coming out. We have it on order. We'll, we'll have it in the shop Eventually. if you're looking for that. Oh, here's uh, box number nine, Transformers. Well, it looks like we got multiples. You know, that sometimes good, sometimes bad. Transformers. Airboy on image, though, not the original. Some more Transformers. Shadow, Precinct, Cluster, this is an early boom book. True Blood had a comic, I can't believe that. Oh, a gem on IDW, multiples. Squarriors, this is a hard to find book. Uh, and if you're a fan of like Redwall, uh, Mouse Guard, anything like that, Squarriors. Go find that. It's a really good read. Battle of the Planets. I'd like to say I love this when I was a kid, but I was in my 20s. <laughs> Battle of the Planets was uh, like it's when I was a teenager, it came out, but I was too cool to watch it then. Uh, but when I got to watch it a little bit later, I fell in love with it. So, G.I. Joe. Star Trek. Oh, we got a lot of. One more. We got League Elite number 12 issue. This is League Elite number 12. <laughs> start of the Morrison run. Number 114 is the start of the Morrison, Morrison run, not 113. Number 114 is the start of the Morrison run. 
Number 114? Yeah. Uh, the one that, the Mega Sonic, that's the one he's saying was the... Was, was the start of the... Yeah. Incorrect. No, I mean, I mean, he agreed with you. Whatever oh, okay. you said, he agreed. Yeah. Okay. I was going to say, it definitely did not start with Negasonic. Uh, for those of you who have an N64, who played N64 when you were growing up, you probably played Turok Dinosaur Hunter and did not know that he was originally a pulp comic character. Yeah. He was a first people uh, character that, like, it was like a title that was passed down from generations. Son of Stone is what it means. Well, yeah, Valiant, basically, when they started, they started with uh, several Golden Age comic characters that they uh, either had become free or they purchased. And then they added a few of their characters were basically just mashups of other Marvel and DC characters. Suicide Squad... 54? Uh, transformation of the Year was... Uh, Back in Avengers The Initiative, when they turned Speedball into Penance by giving him eyebrow piercings Great. and making him listen to Linkin Park nonstop. <laughs> he was so edgy. He was like, oh, he was edgy. It hit me so the I could do Phoenix Gambit. Yeah. This was a good series. This Suicide Squad. Is that. And then he killed everybody. Then he started a Is that uh, Amanda Waller's first appearance? I don't think she appeared earlier. This cover just clicks for some reason. Maybe something else happens in that book. Well, that couldn't be because that was 40 and here she is on the cover of 39. So, you know, like I said, I don't know everything. That's why, I, you know, you got to put it in the comments and trash me and tell me what an idiot I am. That's what I love. This is a great series, this uh, Soldier series. It's a really good run. Grant Morrison, of course. Um, Michael Aldred. These solo stories were really cool, too. Powers, sorry. Just never a fan. Just really couldn't get into it. The art's uh, not great. I'm a fan of Bendis. Yeah, the art kind of kills it for me a little bit. Small Gods. Image book, earlier image book. Smoke. These are pretty... These are almost like uh, graphic novels. It was a really special time in comics when they learned how to do digital art, but uh, did not learn how to actually do digital art. So like the colors are all like very flat with like lens flares and stuff. It's hilarious. Avengers the Initiative. Some more of that stuff going on. Man, I'm gonna have to go through this stuff with a fine tooth comb because I know there are minor keys all throughout the these series. United. I just can't keep all the minor keys in my head. Oh, the whole Villains United run, actually. Three, four, five, six. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. So it counts to six. That was a great. That was a great. This series. is a great series. If you have not read Villains United, um, it was during the Infinite Crisis uh, event back in 2006. Really great run, and now we have it. So come give it a shot. Check it out. If you don't like it, uh, I was probably going to say something. More like Suicide Squad. That's a very cool Catwoman cover. Tim Sale writing. I don't care. There's a Paul Pope, also excellent. Ooh, Ultimate X-Men number two. Hmm. Three. Oh, nice little run there through five. All right, Seven Soldiers. This is going to be another Grant Morrison. Oh, we got one, two, three. Got the whole series of the guard, the Manhattan Guardian. Got all three of the Superman Strength series. Mr. Miracle. Covers by Alex Ross. Two, three. So we got three of the four of the Mr. Miracle series from the Secret uh, the Seven Soldiers. Bulleteer. Clarion. Shining Knight. There's the last issue of the bullet. All right, so now we're going to shift to the other collection, the collection I got from uh, New York Hardcore Comics and Dobbs Ferry. They gave us all the short boxes. I didn't look at them at the shop when I was there picking them up, uh, but I have to admit, I did peep, peep some of it, and... There was spicy stuff. There was really good. 
out of all these short boxes. So recent, real recent run, spawn number 305. So like that's right off the bat, that's gonna be cover price. Sin City 106, a dame to kill for. I mean, he had it priced at $10. Um, probably move it a little faster in our area at five. So then, I don't know what book this is, but that's a virgin cover. Let's pop it. Let's see what we got. It's a virgin cover. A bunch of nuns. Evil looking nuns. Who doesn't love evil nuns? This is Dark Crystal Age of Resistance. Is it? That'd be weird. This is no, this is Vampirella, volume five, number two, first printing. That is a very cool cover. This will sell on the internet in a heartbeat. This will sell very fast. I don't have any Vampirella collectors, so I mostly put my stuff, my Vampirella stuff online. But yeah, and so this, this shop is out of Do Dobbs Ferry. And he does uh, Instagram sales, so you should check him out. Again, it's New York Hardcore Comics. So here's a Batman Arkham Knight special issue, number one, featuring Adventures of Batgirl. That's okay. Captain Marvel Variant Edition, number 13. Super spicy. This is no lie. I bought the, these are, I bought at a wholesale price. I bought, I'm not going to tell you how much, but now I'm kind of getting a little embarrassed already. Uh, all right. So extremity, elephant man. Now we're coming down a little bit to earth here. All right. All right. Now this is a number one issue, Exorcist Sisters, uh, East West. It's very sellable for people filling out and it's a little bit of a run. Eclipse. Germany. Green Lantern number one with Sinestro on the cover from the New 52. I mean, they are mining the New 52 for gold. I mean, whoa, we got Jenica number three. Jenica number two. This is some good stuff. Yeah, you definitely want to go out and give this guy some love, uh, you know, and tell him I sent you because uh, <laughs> I think he's done me uh, a solid. What else have we got here? We got Bone. 41, 46, 45. 51, virgin cover. 43, 44, 36. Strangers, number one. Adam Strange. This is a graphic novel. We got Catwoman. Catwoman and Wildcat. It's a little mini series. Catwoman 79. Legend of the Dark Knight, number 141. 166, 172, 165, 175, 169, 170, 136. So this is a nice, it's, it's not in order, but it seems like there's a lot. There's a Joker cover. Demon laughs. And we're going to move on to Detective. 749, 754. New 52, number two. Detective. Batman Detective Comics. Got a nice Catwoman cover. Number 780. 756. Oh. 
781, another Joker cover. Another Joker cover. Pretty awesome. 787. I don't know why you'd put a Star Wars book in it. In holy moly, what we got here? This was Tales of the Jedi, two of five, three of five, four of five. Is this whole run in here? No. But everybody knows how on. Fire! Dark Horse Star Wars books are. Just like, if you can see the hand of somebody, that's their cameo appearance, and it's got all kind of, you know, the prices are going crazy on this stuff. So this is Star Wars Tales of the Jedi 2, 3, and 4 of the 5 series. Star Wars The Old Republic, number 1, if it was Knights of the Old Republic, there'd be a lot of screaming going on right now. A, a lot. A lot of screaming going on. I'm a little excited about this, too. I don't know if there's a first appearance in here. Not sure. I do know that this book just popped a little bit. It's got some condition issues. But to get it in a bulk box, that's crazy. X Factor 66. What if? Yeah, somebody wrote their name in there, but yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Some Infinity War stuff. Tales of G.I. Joe, number one. That's not the original series, but it's a really, really nice copy, too. There's a little spine, two spine ticks there. Some Web of Spider-Man. More Web of Spider-Man. Marvel Tales. A little Punisher action on the cover. More Marvel Tales. What if with the X Men? What is that? Can we uh, focus in on that? How's that? That's Lady Death. This is from Boundless. It's free premiere copy. Brian Padulo. Oh, hello. Let me try to get that so you can. Yeah, this is this is the uh, certificate of authenticity. Must have had Brian Padulo come down to uh, to his shop and sign, and he put in a signed copy in with this. Oh man. That's fantastic. Little Spider-Man 326. We're going to hold that out. So, that's amazing. Spider-Man 151. A great water cover. Yeah, the, the book is trashed, right? It's covers wrinkled. But if you want needed to fill your set, you'd want that book. Another great Lady Death issue. Great cover. This is uh, Virgin Comics, which they didn't last very long, but they had really good quality. This is Jenna Jameson's book. She actually was writing it. It's Gotham City Sirens. Holy moly. Brother, if I, if I got the wrong boxes, you got to give me a call, because uh, this stuff is crazy. This is a Bronze Age book. Venture Comics with Supergirl. Holy moly. Boy, that's a corny saying, but man, I want to curse a lot, is what I want to do, but I can't, so I won't. <laughs> Some JLA with authority. This seems more like the other collection, but checkmate. 
This may have been from the other collection. Yeah, this definitely looks, it's the same kind of bags. And the same series that, that I was getting from the other one. Dark Avengers and Initiative. Blackest Night stuff. Grifter, Midnight stuff. Yeah, this must have been, this short box must have been from the, the first, I didn't think we had any short boxes. One of the boxes may have broke and we just put it in there. Because we only had, we should have only had nine from um, New York Hardcore Comics. X Men Unlimited. X Men. X Men. X Men. X Men. All these X Men books. Number two, three, one. So a nice series of the when the series return. Astonishing X Men thirty four. Adventures. X Men number nine. That's a kick ass cover. It's a great cover. Five boxes left. Oh. Variant covers. All right. So right now people are like, oh, it's the Tom King Batman run. Oh, boo. What you have to realize is that Tom King is a great writer. Uh, you loved his other stuff. Okay, you didn't love his Batman stuff. But the numbers on Batman were at an all-time low during this run so the B covers are even lower numbered these are buy and holds I'm gonna get them at cover price I'll probably have this out at cover price and that's a variant and that's a variant 693 oh. Batman Detective Comics new 52 look at that Joker cover Uh, another one. This is uh, Batman 60. Variant cover. Variant cover. Rebirth. Oh, nice little... Uh, says number 29 through 34. He's got it all taped up. Justice League. These are, these are fairly new books. Last couple of years. Look at that. Another variant cover. Lobo Christmas special. All right. The Lumberjanes. I have a couple of Lumberjane collectors. Oh. Kiss the Demon number one. Uh, they made a lot of covers for this. This has got to be a variant cover. I don't know if this was a 1 in 10, 1 in 25. Just, they must have made 30 or 40. Dynamite's famous for making like 30 or 40 covers. Of this, if I'm missing anything in the in, in the messages, I'm sorry. Can't really turn all the way around, but uh, just League of America. That looks like that's also a B cover. It's a great Lobo. Ah, another one. Justice League Odyssey 10. Justice League Elseworld. The the nail. Haven't read that. I love the Elseworld story, so I'll be reading that. Number 29. So this is one of the variants of Spawn 300. This is another variant of Spawn 300. What? You gotta be. Okay, no swear. Uh, Black Panther number seven. That's a Bronze Age, really nice Bronze Age book. Look at that Kirby cover. 
Just he's coming out at you. He's just coming at you. And then, of course, uh, you know, the fantastic Trouble Express right behind it. No, I'm kidding. All right, the Patriot. Top 10. I love the Top 10 series. I thought it was really good. Doesn't have any juice behind it. Lady Pendragon on image. This is Neon Cyber. Youngbloods. That's some kind of free view. These preview things sometimes go outrageous. Little Xena. Trout. It's a cool looking book. Weatherman. This was a really good series. It's a really good series. Back to a cat, another cat woman. More cat woman. This is new 52 cat woman. Batman laying one on her. Another new 52. Cat woman 20. Martha Washington, Frank Miller series. This is a great series. Very under uh, under value, and there's not a lot of uh, people that talk about it. But this was a phenomenal read. Really great read. Uh, Catwoman, widow made in Britain. Well, it looks like a little. It's a little racy, maybe. Zealot, another Catwoman, Aquaman number 12. Green Lanterns, they're all over the place, they're not in any kind of it's the brightest day in there. Blackest night. And a green arrow. Green lantern cores. Lantern. Sentinels number two. All new green lantern. It all begins here. Is that the first? That's not the, can't be the first eye on. That might be when he takes over, but that's not his first appearance, I don't think. That's, man, I, I don't know if this has a lot of value, but I know that that cover is infamous. It's been printed on a lot of different things. If you don't love this cover, you don't love comics. Just saying. Don't love that cover, don't love comics. Green Lantern 105, 112, get some Hitman action. That's why you don't stack bagged and board comics, because they do not stay. No, we got it, we got it, we'll take care of it. Back in the boxes for you. So the value that I just found is all gone. <laughs> No, but that's the good thing about having bagging boards. Sometimes they uh, they can survive a little damage. Lobo, Books of Magic, Nightwing, Sovereign Seven. Ah, oh, the Kingdom. The Kingdom. Some more Alex Ross. No, this wasn't Alex Ross. Written by Mark Wade. Alex Ross did the Kingdom Come books. This is K the Kingdom. I think this is. Um, after. This is after Kingdom Come. Man, everybody helped me out. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Two. Two boxes left. Just giving you a sa sample of taste. Any of my customers who want to combine, go through this before it gets shuffled and put out and get first shot at it, it'll be here yeah. tonight. We're closed tomorrow. 
Sunday. We're closed Monday, so Tuesday it's going to start getting put away, and I'm going to probably the rest of the night I'm going to spend going through it and pulling some of the big books if there is any. And obviously in this stuff there was some decent, really decent books. Daredevil, 269. History of the DC Universe, Semper Fi number one, Spectre number one, Vigilante, Suicide Squad number 10. Well, here's Amanda Waller again, so I don't know if that's her first appearance. Nom number four, The Weird. This is uh, Ryson's artwork. So if you're looking to buy, like most Ryson stuff is getting priced out. The Weird. It, uh, his book is early 80s, mid 80s, something like that. And it is weird, but the art is amazing. World of Metropolis, Annual Flash, Captain Atom, Crimson Avenger, Silverblade, Daredevil 271, 272, 273, 274. This is a nice run, 275. 277. That's a weird one. This is a this is a Miller Jackson cover. Dollar fifty comic. I'm not familiar with what that. This is uh, Fantaco Enterprises. This might be a free giveaway. Because it's not Daredevil, it's the Daredevil Chronicles. So I'll have to look that one up. I'm not familiar with that one. X Mutants, that's a fun book. Night Force, sort of another, you know, late Silver Age, early uh, Bronze Age book. Secret Origins, Batman and Mud Pack. Let's put the books back so we'll be careful. How are we on time? What time are we at? 5.18. All right, so we're on our last box. We'll get you all out of here. And, uh, you know, hey, run down. Come on down to Haven for Heroes, 34 Front Street, Port Jervis, New York. You get your first shot at going through these books. Oh, man. you got to be kidding me. So, yeah. Here's Eternals number 14. You know that movie's coming, and taped behind it is number 15. And on the back side is number 16. So, great stuff there. Little Exiles run with a variant first cover. Empire of Death. That looks pretty cool. That is probably the. Written by George A. Romero, you know, the walking, uh, not walking dead, sorry. uh, Night of the Living Dead. Um, this looks like the entire run Batman 54 and Batman 53. It's a book in between Batman 55, so 53 to out of the new series, early bronze Batman. Number 275, man, you just don't, you, when, you, when you're buying bulk boxes like this and they're from dealers, you're not expecting to get anything. You're not getting any Bronze Age books. You're not getting any Silver Age books. You're not getting any keys. You may get a few minor keys, books that still book at cover price, but something actually happened in them. That, you might get some of those, but to get, you know, like Double Dinosaur number five, like a nice little action comics run, 502 to 506, you know. Um, hey, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, there's a little bit more comics to go through, but we've been on for a little over an hour. We had a repop on. I hope you enjoyed it. I uh, appreciate you going and liking uh, our friends over at uh, New York Hardcore Comics in Dobbs Ferry. Uh, he just posted the books online. You can find them too on, I found them on um, Facebook Marketplace actually, both sets. Uh, I was bored and I said I wanted to buy some comics. Now, you're gonna buy big collections like this, you're gonna pay a little bit of money. 
It's not going to be cheap. It's not going to be $10, but uh, okay. you're going to get a lot of books to read and have fun with. And it's a lot of reading material. So keep reading comics. Thanks for watching. Stop by the shop. Hit a subscribe. Share it. Share it, please. <laughs> we uh, keep getting like 200, 201 subscribers. Then we go down, go up, go down. Bots drop out. <laughs> Tell all your bot friends to uh, join the subscriber channel. But uh, no, thanks a lot. We really do appreciate it. Uh, and I hope you enjoyed it. Take care.